Hey guys, welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. Fulham against Chelsea Football Club on Thursday is going to be another London derby. Very, very tough game as per usual. And at the moment, Chelsea are in relegation form. <laughs> so it's going to be weird to play against uh, William, one of us. He can still do the business better than many, many players that we have at Chelsea Football Club at the moment. Some questions. Do you think Joao Felix is going to be registered on time to play on Thursday? And even if he was registered, would you like just to throw somebody out of the blue because we need people? Very good questions. Don't forget to join us on Soka IQ is a new channel that we just started. It's uh, less than 200 subs over there. We are live every single day. We do watch alongs over there. I know people are used to GFC, Global Fans Channel for streams, but we're trying to build this channel to do exclusive lives, more quality, and focus each channel on one specific thing so if you want to help the link is going to be in the description down below just click and join us and let's have fun let's go this game is going to be tough this is a must win game for chelsea football club i don't want to hear any kind of excuse okay i know we have 11 players at the moment out yeah i got you i got it i got it but we have to come up with some solutions, right? Because we still have players out there that are hungry to do something. So, uh, the big question here, like I said, is about Gaga, Gabriel Slonina. Given the form of Edouard Mendy and also Kepa Arisa Balaga is the Kepa that we knew back in the day, 2019, 2020 under Lampard and, you know, <laughs> is the reason why that we went and bought, uh, and bought Mr. Mendy. So it goes through cycles. It looks like uh, he's, go he's, he's going back to the old caper that we knew a lot of mistakes. So Gaga is ready. I don't even know if we registered him as a Chelsea player already or we are thinking about loaning him uh, out somewhere. But listen, man. Sometimes you have to take risks. If you look at Donnarumma, okay, from AC Milan, people think that that guy is like 120 years old. No, the guy is like 21 or 22 years old only. But he's been in the business forever. You know why? Because they had some issues with their goalkeepers at Milan. They put the kid, 16 years old kid, and since then, never, never gave that place away. He kept the place until he left Milan. That tells you that sometimes the age is just a number. So Chelsea, we need to learn how to trust our youngsters. And I think Gaga is ready. I don't think Graham Porter is going to use him. But I'm just suggesting here that the brother is ready. Joao Felix, if we register him on time, I want to see him at least on the bench and give him a few minutes. I just don't think that we should throw him right there and 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 uh, and uh, hope for a miracle. Otherwise, it's going to be a lot of banter on social media if he doesn't perform good his first game. We have to 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 be careful about you know breaking players immediately when they sign for Chelsea Football Club. So what I see is going, uh, you know, is this is what I'm I'm gonna do. F Listen, if it was me, I was going for Gaga instead of Kepa, but I think Grandpora is gonna use Kepa anyway. So Kepa in goal, back four, Lewis Hall, Badiashil, yeah, left-footed centre back. I wanna see him there instead of Kulibali and Thiago Silva had uh, some rest against City, so he need to be there and conduct operations and then Chaloba from the other side 
you have nothing to lose as Piliqueta is pretty much useless at the moment with all the respect everybody knows about it and I don't want to see him start that game it's a must win game we need a lot of energy and um, and hard work defensive work in order to try to get something for a must win London derby Zakaria I don't want to explain myself too much the guy got everything offensively defensively he's awesome play him there and i'm interested to see manson mount i know i'm gonna get killed for even mentioning this guy here but i am interested to see how manson mount is gonna play without Jorginho. remember most of the time when mount is on the pitch is always with Jorginho, and he need to drop to help the king protect the king here so i'm giving him the benefit of the doubt but even if you don't give him the benefit of the doubt that you don't want him there's nobody better in that position in this moment look at this everybody here injured everybody here 11 people out injured i don't know by the time you watch this video we might have even more injuries so Manson Mount, you like it or not, the brother does what he's supposed to do. Just that it doesn't fit narratives from some people. I will play him regardless. He's there defensively, offensively. He's going to help us. Kovacic, of course, he's going to beat the pressure. Dribble, 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 everybody. Dribble the referee, dribble. And back, uh, and, you know, final, final uh, third here, nothing. So... He can, even if he can drab, dribble, beat the pressure and pass the ball to Kai Havert or somebody else to do something in the final third. Kai Havert, yeah, I know what the narrative is going to be. But who else is going to be there? Who else are we going to play there? Play him in the free role, okay? As a number 10, as a force 9 here. And let's see what's going to happen. Uh, he always arrives like late in the box and kind of score goals. I think sometimes you have to think outside the box when you don't have your players. You have to be creative. I want to see in front, like two people in front. Yeah, call me crazy if you want. I don't want to see a target man. I want to see them like switching position, right? Switching to confuse the position here. I want to see uh, Omari Hutchison switching position, being in the free roll here doing cooking the way he knows how to do he likes to cut inside and and take a powerful shot here i will play the kid man i will throw him out there and play him kind of two in front but like i said no regular number nine but just people who can score goals who can interchange positions to try to get something out of here because we don't have anybody that will score goals. Aubameyang probably had a, a tight uh, back, so probably not going to be ready for the game. But even if he was ready, we know what uh, Aubameyang is going to offer. Nothing. So why not try something different? Me thinking outside the box here, that uh, now I want to hear from you guys. What would you do? If you think Galaga need to play Aubameyang or we need to to get uh, a miracle from <laughs> whatever and get uh, uh, Broja back or something. Because anyway, you can make whatever theory you want, but we, we are struggling even to get a, the starting 11. Nobody. Can you tell here? N'Golo Kante, out. Chile, out. Uh, Fofana out, Rhys James out, Mendy out, Broja out, Raheem Sterling out, Christian Pulisic out, Ruben Loftusik out. My friend, even if you are a genius and you don't want to see certain players here, come up with your miracle and tell us really who are you going to play there. And we also need a bench. Who's going to sit even on the bench? I don't know. You can also make a case about Hakim Ziyech instead of Hutchison, probably because of the experience. That is your choice, my friend. Hakim Ziyech can also cook on his day uh, if we play with the right people around him and play him from the right position. So you can make a case. Chukwe Maker, I want to see him in the second half. I know he's doing very good at the moment, but I, I, I just wanted to try something different. 
I'm not against anybody here, but I'm just thinking outside the box. And as you know, you need also a strong bench to help you see the game out. So if you have Chukwe Maker from the bench, there's nothing wrong by that because we have zero people from the bench. Probably we have to go to the academy and bring some more youngsters to be on our bench. Score prediction. 2-0 Chelsea Football Club. Yeah, call me crazy. We're going to keep a clean sheet with Badiashil breaking lines here. Putting those long-range passes. Oh my goodness, I like this guy. I like what I see, but he needs to show us in the Premier League. So it's going to be awesome defensively. Uh, Hall. Lewis Hall also very good defensively and offensively. People, we might surprise a lot of people. Many people are expecting us to lose this derby, but I think we're going to win 2-0. Now, Graham Porter is not going to use what I'm telling you here. You will see Kovacic out, Jorginho the golden boy in. That's what's going to happen, right? So Jorginho need to be there. And then Chaloba is not going to be there. It's going to be who? Aspilicueta. And... I think in front, probably Datro is going to be out. And he's going to put the, the the silky German here. And I don't know, probably Chukwe Maker from the other side. And I'm telling you, with this, you are playing 9 against 11. Because you're playing with Jorginho Frelo. And you're playing with Cesar Aspiriqueta, who offers nothing. And believe me, we play these guys in this team in a London derby with a lot of energy like this, we're going to lose the game 2-1. 2-1 to Fulham if Graham Porter don't use common sense and will continue using players out of their, because they have good names or because they are captains and they are leaders. If he's going to do his way, my friend, another loss is coming on our way. And nobody to blame, but it's going to be Graham Porter.